My name's Josh Sheary, I'm a physiotherapist. I did my undergraduate degree at La Trobe University in Melbourne um, and then I went on and completed my PhD looking at um, the role of imaging findings in symptom development and early OA development in football players at La Trobe University. Um, in my clinical practice I have a particular interest in the management of long-standing hip and groin pain uh, and I work at Life Care Paran Sports Medicine here in uh, Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, I think I think initially it was because I had I always found it really challenging to, to manage and deal with uh, in the clinic, and I think uh, there was an opportunity to to do some research in football players that I had interest in as well. So I think both my um, desire to improve my clinical skills, but also my um, I suppose uh, interest in research sort of married together really nicely. Um, and I think um, the research and clinical practices um, really benefit each other. I think it's. I think the, diff the difficulty we have is that often, like a, a person presents with long-standing hip and groin pain, and they have a number of different conditions present. Um, and I think it's trying to identify the primary driver of their symptoms, um, and then to, to I suppose building on that is identifying impairments that we can address as physios, whether it be strength, muscle endurance, um, their aerobic capacity, their joint range. Um, is probably where we need to be going with our treatments and where probably most physiotherapists fall down is identifying these modifiable things that we can actually treat in the clinic. My name's Mark Scholes, I'm an APA titled sports physio. I, um, my background is from a football capacity where I worked with elite uh, junior football players in the TAC Cup. And really that's where I developed my interest in hip and groin pain. So at that stage in my career, there was a really high prevalence of, of hip and groin pain um, in that population. And, and at that stage, we, we didn't really know what to do with those guys at, at that point. And that really grew an interest in, in me, uh, in my clinical work. Um, and I was lucky enough to end up at La Trobe University where I completed my PhD uh, researching um, symptom severity in football players with hip and groin pain and the relationship with, uh, with imaging findings uh, and also biomechanics. I work, uh, still work clinically here in Melbourne. I work at a clinic called Complete Sports Care. Um, and uh, balance that with some research work out at La Trobe University as a postdoc research fellow there. I think a really uh, a simplified, not complex approach to, to assessing and, and managing, managing the hip. Uh, I think, as Josh was saying, there's a lot of different diagnoses and, and clinicians can easily get lost following a, a, a patho-anatomical approach. And I think what we want to do as clinicians is look at the things that we can change and, those, and addressing and identifying those modifiable, modifiable impairments.